Today, we've got keto chow, and you'll see us try keto chow for the second time. But more on that after this. I'm Dustin. I'm Chandra. Hi, guys. Welcome back. We tried keto chow the other day. We recorded it and everything, but you know what? The file was all messed up. <laughs> so It's amateur hour. It's fine. Just a quick recap on that video. We tried the two crazy ketos, caramel macchiato. Yes. We tried strawberry. Uh, I don't have a strawberry package. Yeah, to we show you. we didn't have we don't have any more of those. And we tried vanilla. Right. Okay. And the only good one was, was the caramel macchiato with butter. Right. So we tried the caramel macchiato and the strawberry with mm -hmm. butter and with heavy cream. We, right. we basically split the packages in half, made them both ways to try them. Heavy cream was awful. I don't recommend it. Yeah, no, it's not the best choice. If you're gonna do it, you want butter. And salted, salted butter. Salted butter actually tasted pretty good. And that's what they recommend on the package. Yeah, not unsalted, salted. Now, the vanilla oh. didn't taste like vanilla. At all. And I'm gonna be 100% honest here with you. That tasted like paper mache paste. <laughs> it was terrible. I don't understand where the, uh, Chris, I don't know where you guys got vanilla from, but there was not even a hint of vanilla. Not even a smell of vanilla. Didn't smell like vanilla. No. I don't even know what's going on with that. No, it definitely tasted like you were eating school paste. The strawberry it's didn't taste bad. like strawberry. It didn't taste like snozberries. No. It tasted like the, uh, the Twizzler pull and peels. Yeah, and I think those are actually cherry flavored, but you know, whatever. So that's pretty weird. Caramel macchiato, again, that one's that one's good. With the butter. With the With butter. With the cream, eh. No. No, mm -mm. it's just not good. I can't tell you the difference because, I mean, I've slept since then, and me remembering anything even that I've done today is kind of hard. Um, so, but I would say it's a no-go. Definitely with the butter. So, always go with the butter. Mm -hmm. Now... I went with the packaging, uh, the package instructions on, uh, this is cookies and cream. Yeah, we're trying two new flavors. Two new flavors. This is cookies Stuff. and cream. Yes, we've never tried these. Cookies and cream here. Uh -huh. There's a half stick of butter in here. You followed the directions. I followed the directions. <sighs> Aren't we proud? Well, the last time I followed the video that Steve and Siri, or Steve from Sirius Keto and Keto Chow put out, and he used, uh, like, uh, two or three tablespoons of butter. Right. So that's what I did, and I didn't think it came out very well. Yeah. So I'm trying a half stick in this one. So that's cookies and cream, and this is a flavor that Jackie from Jackie Jinx's Journey, and I think is chocolate toffee. Because she gave okay. me a, a baggie of a flavor to try. <laughs> so it had no label. So it's the secret I, flavor. I do need to give a shout out to Jen Lucas. Yes. Because I was at her house yesterday. We had a meetup, a meeting about our upcoming May keto meetup, and she showed us her pantry. I imagine she has more keto chow than... Uh, than keto chow? Than keto chow, yeah. yeah. She's got, like, if you love keto chow, yeah, she had a whole pantry full of keto chow. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So I imagine if you follow her and any of the groups she's in, she may have shared a picture of that. But I just had to give her a quick shout out because I thought that was pretty amazing. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, so this one is the cookies that's and cream. cookies and cream. Okay. So shake, shake it up. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Now I made these two days ago, so they've been in the fridge way long enough to be good. They're supposed to be like overnight, so this has been two days in the fridge. Ooh. I look at you however I want to. However I want to. Okay. It, uh, there's something about, they smell like farts. I swear they do. I don't think it smells like farts, but it smells a little strange. It might be the milk protein isolate powder or whatever. It must be. Now, I've heard from people that the, that the cookies and cream taste more like vanilla. Try it. Okay. It's not bad. It's not cookies and cream and it's not vanilla. It has a weird back of the throat flavor to me. Like, well, I'm tasting the salted butter in the back of the throat flavor. 
It's sweet. It's milky. It tastes kind of like cereal milk. Kinda. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Cereal milk. You know. But it does have it has almost a sour flavor in the back of my throat a little bit. I'm I think sure. that's just the butter. I don't know. Maybe. Because it, it's definitely got that saltiness from the butter, which is fine. That's okay. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that flavor. It's okay. I don't get cookies and cream. I get no. maybe a, the tiniest bit of cookie. I don't maybe. think I get cookie at all. I think cereal milk pretty much explains that one. Um, now, we think this is chocolate toffee, but go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, I was just saying, I'm pretty sure cereal milk would describe that better than anything else. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's okay. I still don't understand drinking a shake instead of eating food. That's just a mindset I just don't have. I don't own that mindset. Right. I tried to upload it, but it just... All right, here you go. The, the DLC is not ready for me yet. Right, no DLC. <laughs> oh. Smell that. Yeah, a little funky. Uh, it kind of smells like vomit. That tastes like a caramel. You sure that wasn't a caramel flavor? Well, I asked her because she said she didn't have it a bag of caramel, I don't think. She thinks she had a big bag of the chocolate toffee. I could see a toffee flavor. I don't get chocolate. I, I get a salted caramel out of that. That's not bad. That's not bad. I actually like this one. Yeah, that one's not bad at all. It doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. Right. And the flavor's there, but it's very light and kind of in the, it's kind of in the back of the, it's like creaminess, milkiness, and then a flavor in the back. Right, right. And there's not, um, it doesn't have a bad aftertaste. I would say if you are somebody where nauseous smells bother you, this probably isn't the flavor for you. It does smell pretty rank. It's weird. Yeah. So they all smell interesting. Yeah. So this one smells bad. We've tried just about every shake that's out there. Basically, we've tried the um, the the Quest shakes. We've tried the um, Slim Fast. The Slim Fast ones. Slim Fast. We have We had a. We tried a Slim Fast chocolate keto. It wasn't good at all. Almost, yeah. almost made me gag and throw up. Yeah. We've tried. Um, just there's a, a there, whole bunch of there's a couple you know there, whatever the ones that are out there that are the keto right ready-made shakes and some of the ones that are powders yeah this blows them out of the water it does they are better there's still a lot of tweaking that needs to happen yeah i would love to see a solid vanilla uh, yeah. i mean and i know i may be the only one who wants a solid strong vanilla like a vanilla -y milkshake kind of like flavor mm -hmm. or like a vanilla pudding-ish kind of flavor. Right. And I would love a really strong strawberry, like kind of take me back to the strawberry quick days. Right. Or And then maybe like a chocolate that's a chocolate quick type flavor. I haven't had a chance to try the uh, core chocolate or even the regular chocolate. Strangely enough, <laughs> Jen didn't have any chocolate. <laughs> she had <laughs> chocolate. she doesn't like chocolate. Well, she had the core. Mm -hmm. But she didn't uh, have the other one. So mm -hmm. she even had the sticky bun of ultimate awesomeness or whatever it's called. Um, That's Steve from Series Ketos. Uh, but yeah, so these two flavors are much better. Again, this one's kind of weird to me. It has a weird aftertaste it, that's, that's almost kind of sour. And yeah. I would, and I just don't. Maybe that's the the mixes that are into it, maybe it, or whatever. I don't know. It's this one is much better. That one tastes good. I'll and probably that finish is the this. Chocolate. Supposedly chocolate toffee, but chocolate we're not one hundred percent sure. Okay. Yeah. But well, because it just came in a Ziploc bag, so yeah. I do want to try more flavors. <sighs> you maybe don't need to try them if you don't want to yeah uh, again i don't and this is just a, a mental block for me this is just not a go-to i'm not a milkshake drinker even naturally before even just my normal fat self i don't go to ice cream milkshakes milky drinks none of that i'm not a dairy drinker this is just not my jam i don't I'm not typically even a cereal person. Like ice cream is a no. So all of this is just not in my wheelhouse. It's not something I've ever done. I've never done 
slim fast where you drink the shake instead of eating food. I just, it's, it doesn't make sense to me. I am a fat kid all the way through and through. If you're gonna take away my food, don't try to replace it with some crappy shake. But that's just. Now, I hear. This is how my brain works. <laughs> now, a lot of people talk about using a Ninja Creamy and making these into ice creams. I do think I may be getting my hands on a Ninja Creamy to try. Mm -hmm. to use for a little while to make some ice creams with mm -hmm. and maybe we'll make a video on us trying those oh good and i'll put maybe some stuff in it for you my entire lifetime i have never liked ice cream the only thing the only reason to eat ice cream is because it is a vehicle for stuff <laughs> that's it because the cookies are in it or because the candy is in it or whatever or Rocky Road because there's those marshmallows in it or the chocolate gobs. Other than that, I don't need the ice cream. Even before, I would eat all the stuff and give you the ice cream. Yeah, she would. I just, I don't like it. Don't like it. It's not her thing. Not a fan. It's not her bag, baby. Nope. Now, if it was a cookie, I mean. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Well, maybe get some cookies and make cookies and cream, ice cream or something. We'll see what we can do. I don't know. The keto cookies are mostly disappointing. Eh, well, we'll see how they are with ice cream. Mostly sadness. If you have tried these flavors or if you think we're making it wrong again i said i put these were um half a stick of butter hot water into the blender blended it up put it into the shaker bottle and put it in the fridge for this is two days they're supposed two to be days. good up for a week okay so if you can meal prep if you have you know a week worth of blender bottles you can make yeah you can make your whole week's worth. Yeah, you can make a whole week's. Now, you probably shouldn't just live on these. No. So, sound off in the comments how we, you know, how you think we're wrong about keto chow. <laughs> and I'm not saying that we don't <laughs> like it, but so far it's... of the five flavors that we've tried, we got two winners. Yeah, the caramel macchiato was good. I need to re I need I have another one. Yeah. I'm going to make another one and we're going to try it probably not on camera. Right. But we'll try it again and see how we feel about it. Um, this one is a pretty good one. This one is good, but the aftertaste is a little wonky. Um, but yeah, Chris, if you see this video, or Miriam, if you see this video, um, I would love to see the trifecta, which is a good vanilla, strawberry, and a good solid, like Nestle's Quick style chocolate. I think that would be amazing. Yeah. And that would be something that I would like to have over some of the other flavors that are more complex like salted caramel or yeah. you know those like the sticky bun and all, those just seem okay but I would they don't probably, interest me so i did like the caramel macchiato and i am very much of a coffee flavor person so even one that just had a solid like there's a mocha i don't know how you would feel about that i'd be willing to try it but like a solid good coffee flavor like a just a solid coffee when, with cream. I would try that. That would sound, that sounds good. Yeah. I would do that. And that might even be something I could get behind maybe even trying to drink it, you know, as opposed to like having a lunch lunch at work trying yeah. that. Yeah, I don't know stuff. if they have just a coffee. I haven't necessarily studied all their flavors. They've got yeah. a whole host of flavors. Right. And some that are even, you know, out of stock. Like I think people uh, love this one, the blueberry pie. Yeah, that sounds odd. Yeah, we didn't make it as a drink because we weren't sure how we would like it. Um, then we've got, we even have a lemon meringue that I didn't bring to the table, and we've got it's the there. orange cream. Orange yeah. cream. Well, I had a lemon meringue here, yeah. The, the, I don't know, that, that would be interesting. I'd like to try it. But, you know. It sounds weird. Just sound off if you'd like to see us try more flavors <laughs> on camera. Oh, yay. <laughs> yes, please. You know, we'll see what we can do. Just uh, comment down below. Let us know what your favorite keto chow is. Do you prefer to drink it? Make recipes out of it? Make it into ice cream? Let I'm us know. I'm interested in knowing what recipes everybody uses because I have heard so many people on the internet sharing recipes where they use keto chow to make certain things. Yeah. That I would be down for. Um, the shakes, uh, it's going to take a lot to turn me to them. It just is. Yeah. I'm just not a shake girl. Right. Anywho. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share. Subscribe. She's always like, oh, subscribe. It's me. It's my turn. I have <gasps> to go. Yay. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.